Hi, Tasha Dele. Uh, uh, greetings to everyone. And I'm Sitin Doji. Uh, Tanka, I'm Tanka artist from Sikkim, which is a beautiful state to visit. And uh, we we are surrounded with the mountains, and uh, and we can view the third highest mountain called uh, uh, Kanchenjunga. And uh, it's beautiful to visit here. I'm making this video because of uh, TCF's uh, 25th celebration anniversary. So I congratulate to Karmala and all the staffs of TCEF and thank you so much for helping t Tibetan culture to, to save the Tibetan culture and uh, arts and uh, helping all the children to get the education done. Thank you so much and uh, I really appreciate and uh, where we worked so many Thangas there for many monasteries and uh, mainly we worked for Dumetantic monasteries. Uh, the main series of Buddha's, past life of Buddha's painting, which is supposed to be the best known Buddha's uh, series, best known in the, in the world. When we were painting, when we finished the painting of Buddha, past life of Buddha in South India, Dalai Lama, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama has seen that and he got so much impressed about the art and he personally <coughs> ordered his painting for 14 Dalai Lama, like a sacred painting for each incarnation. Uh, I think it's done once in each Dalai Lama because it was uh, order came from the Oracle. And I have seen in Tibet also that the 13 Dalai Lama's uh, set of painting was in Potala Palace. So I'm so fortunate to have this work done and I'm so blessed. I've I've, during the painting, I prayed for every world, each and every person in the, the living world. I say that. So I'll briefly I'll, uh, introduce about how we work. And uh, because since uh, we don't have a lot of time here, like a time factor is quite difficult here to I have to finish in a few like a minutes. But if anyone wants to know about my art or myself or whatever you have a question please you can contact me and uh, I'm building up my website that's the first time in my life it's a history and uh, I'll share that and then we'll be doing some uh, art class online Tanka painting art is is such a beautiful and wonderful art it's not like a different other arts it has a deep, deep meaning about Buddhism and um, we say that Buddhism and Christianity or Hinduism is not that important to know which culture is that but uh, I think it's important to keep your minds clean and love and compassion towards other people and that's, that's a religion. So it teaches so many things in uh, this Tanka painting I've experienced lots of experience in this painting. It, it gives the healings, it gives a compassion, love, protection, and uh, wealth, and uh, success, and many more, many good things. And I have this experience also, so many things, like uh, some got uh, healed from this painting, some, uh, someone got like a uh, healed from cancer. So I've seen so many miracles here. So it's very different, very different painting. And while painting, you learn how to be compassionate and how to be peaceful. And it gives you so much, so much peace that I cannot express with word. And uh, you have to learn it. Tell me that uh, uh, when you're painting, you should not paint. You should not feel that you are painting for one person or two person. You have to feel that you are inviting God or Goddess from the heavenly body, 
and to have all the things here. So, that, and then he said, you have to feel that you're making a painting for sentient beings. And the time you finish your painting, and you, you, will, you will feel that you have made millions of paintings in one painting. This is the basic sketches of our hands and uh, the, the, which you see the lines I have created this to make it easier for the people who want to learn it. So uh, we learn this freestyle for like uh, we learn the hands and eyes and lips and separately then later on we draw the face of Buddha with all the measurements and the most important part is measurement. If we miss a uh, small part of the measurement, it is said that we'll get the bad merit. It's pure cotton, we'll stitch it on the border, and then stitch with the, the bamboo, thin bamboo here. Okay? And then we have to stretch it. Like here you can see the uh, frame, wooden frame. We have to stretch it and put the gesso and the glue uh, on the canvas and later it looks like a drum. After we used to make our own brushes, we make our own colors and nowadays we can get our brushes from all over the world, very fine and very beautiful. So how we make brushes is uh, we have to cut a hair from cats. It should be, the cat should be, should not be tapped. It should be wild cat. <laughs> it's very dangerous. <laughs> so teacher sent us uh, say, sends us to to catch the wild cat. This is a painting of a 30, 35 Buddha of confession, and uh, it's a uh, painted on the canvas cloth with a red cinnabar, which I've told you before, and uh, the designs are all pure gold and it takes about like one month to finish. So this is not even a halfway here. So I have a lot of work here. And this is uh, gold, pure gold, uh, which we get from Nepal. And uh, it's uh, more expensive than 24 karat gold. We use this gold uh, to make the precious painting. And uh, it costs around like 10 grams, about like 45,000 rupees or something. Okay, this is a uh, cinnabar. It's very heavy. And this one we crush into powder and then it becomes like this here. And I have a little bit here left here, so you can see. And this one we put this in this uh, red painting. And these are all like a natural color from insect. Uh, and these are all earth colors, earth colors, and this is uh, so stone color, and this is lapis. It's very very heavy. It's hard to break. So this is it. So uh, I wish uh, everyone liked my video and uh, enjoyed it, and I wish uh, uh, TCF congratulate for 25th anniversary and all the best and uh, we will be there all the time. If you need any help or any, any questions, any answers, let me know. Thank you so much.